Silence is massive against the Yone, the Akali, the Tom Kench. Huge potential to take over the lane phase. Of course, vulnerable champion individually, but in fights. Quick, little auto attacks, little chickens trying to knock him down, but it will not happen. Chao stepping forward is a big risk. Faker going over the wall. It's a massive escape. Does he have the execute? Time is ticking. He needs to get towards this tower. Walking Wade doesn't have flash. Tower, Does he have trying to get away from it. Faker. Oh! I have never seen a player die so. Owner Breeze coming over the wall. He has the ulti up. Dark and Blade, one pack to connect. Owner now caught in. Infernal Chain going to pull it back. And that is it. First blood for RNG. Beautiful combo by Breathe onto Owner. Carry out. Could look for the flashing knight Q here. Trying to finish it. Oh! Snipes down. Guma and Carry make themselves known in the mid lane. We could do better. Moving Guma Yushi up gets the kill, but again we go. Oh, the sidestep. Look at the way he moves, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. No, they're turning on the way. How can he do this? The TK is just so damn strong. She comes from both they get ring since the end of MSI, but they're stepping up here. Breathe has no flash. Saves. Waiting. This is the first cue. That's gonna be big. Buys him a bit more time. Stun now gonna connect. Zeus can take his time. Going for the style. Finish. Swords hit left and right. Breathe. No way out of this one. Trying to heal up a little bit more, but no. What? Wait, does he oh. no. It looked like Breathe much. Here's where the T1 bot lane comes in. I think Owner actually stopped the Kingslayer from Xiaohu, which is why Faker didn't go down. Then as you say, flash forward auto. Oh, the T -tours you, in the can't, chest. you can't do it to him. It's dirty. Right. Here comes the W to get the stone to Gala. See if they can commit to the full dive. Baker does manage to land it. Big damage now coming into Gala. He's going to the healing off the Sever. Malt flashing out of safety, trying to finish the job. But Karia there to eat up Faker. Gala, it's nearly flawless play, but they're just too damn strong. Faker, the shield is going to fade away. Carry the shield. Oh, okay. Gala! Oh, being on the chase now as well, but they've locked him down. What is this? It's madness on the bottom side. T1. Are they able to find the kill on the main Shahu now as well? It just does not stop. This game is a bloodbath from RNG and T1. Game three has exploded, and we're not done yet. Top dive coming in. Owner has the ult. Zeus. If Zeus, Zeus goes for the Q3, dashes away. Herald's procced. Again, Dark and Blade up and available. He's waiting. He knows the second he shows his cooldowns, the second he uses that first Q, they'll know exactly where the next one goes. Zeus zipping through it, diving through it, trying to finish off the job, and they will be able to do so. Leaping out, but gets taken down. Especially when Breathe is able to turn around these dives, uh -oh. same as RNG did on bot sides. Area has the sweeper. They're in the next brush. Ming, Ming stepping forward, looking oh. to lock him up, trying to lock down the bars. The silence going down as well. The Tom can't eat him. He's trying to run for his life. Guma flashing out. Guma take it down. Gala finds the kill. The Tom Kenji eat was around five seconds until it was back up. The second wave flashed in there. They were so close to having that play. Pressure. It's so tense because you know at any moment a fight could break out or four people will show up on the bottom side, seemingly out of thin air. Just all in each oh. other. Ming waiting over the wall. This is a bit precarious because the Tom Kenshin now coming in follow up. Ming caught in no man's land. That's the stun. That's Fall Carry doesn't quite make it over the wall. Stun still get the tongue lash though. That's the stun. And it's more than enough. But now they're looking to get a little bit more. Shao caught out here. Stack first on that one. Flash out to safety. Buy in the area. They will not pursue for anything else. But Ming caught sleeping. Had the sweep too. TP ready for breathe if they want to commit to this dive. RNG have a response. The Serac ultimate is up as well. Raka ultimate up. Guns way worse than the dive than they were last time, but still strong overall. That's the ulti. The Gale Force out. He still gets hit, but there will be no follow-up. Massive damage coming in from the Varus already. Meanwhile, on the top side, the 1v1 Zay is snapping back on the Soul Unbound. Neither side able to get much in the trade. And this is where, again, we're seeing T1 trying to put the pressure on. Trying oh, he's dead. Looking to find the play. Breathe. He has to try to find a way. That is when there's just too much CC. Take it out. Zeus finds another kill. Even through the Soraka ultimate, T1 gets first break. The TP just to get them off the Herald. Meanwhile, they've already broken bot lane. Purely positive trade for the side of T1. It's just smoke and mirrors, isn't it? But now they're engaging. Naka, locking up breath. Breathe. That's going to be a big way now. Stepping forward as well. Sejuani now making it out. Safety devour. That denies the buy. The stun going to follow up. Over the wall comes the Yone. Big in the midst of the entire team now running. Trying to make his way out. But the a trucks will fall. Gala, the last man standing. The fancy footwork. Not enough yet. Tower laid down perfect guns to try to turn the fight, but for now, T1 massively ahead in the exchange. Huge team fight there by Faker. Manages to find two on the back side of it. RNG didn't have a lot of starting to stack these up now. Will benefit T1, of course. Carry up. Area caught out. Good damage. Xiaohu coming off to the side. Gonna steal the Vars ultimate. Gonna look oh. Kuma, but he whiffs! It's a massive whiff, and it costs him so much. The play disappearing. Faker hunting for more away now. Has to go, and he has no choice. Breathe on the back side now, running for his life as well. T1 taking another exchange, and another ult goes wide. RNG cannot find a target. Xiao Hu tried to predict the flash on Guma Yushi with the Chains of Corruption, but again, Guma with the nerves of steel. Four year. 
Harold set up in the mid lane, pressure on for both sides. Everyone on RNG knowing that a single misstep could cost them. Breathe on the flank. Gate goes a little bit wide. They're trying to lock him down. Chao Hu now stepping forward. Carry off to the side, not trying to make it out. Kuma still standing on the back line, and in goes the Yone. The damage is massive. The Soraka healing, will it be enough? But no, the Aatrox falling down. Gala, can he be the difference maker? He takes down the Herald. They're on the retreat, but here, oh, Carrya! K, Carrya still stands. He goes golden. He does it with style. It's a slaughter. It's a wipe on RNG. T1 clean house. Deus falls, but RNG didn't have the damage. 40 seconds, which will be the exit objective, but they want to force here a little bit away. Not scared, okay. though. Stepping forward, taking a lot of damage here. He's just getting shredded! Gumayushi damage is out of control. He's just so far ahead. T1 pushing down here. We'll get this tier 2 that they've catched that wave because RNG is now backing away after picking up that tower. Zeus next to Faker. Have to be careful. Gala forced to flash. Guma still with ulti up and available. All of his sums. RNG, this is such a difficult hold. So impossible for them to clear all these waves to match all of the pressure that T1 are putting down. And it feels like you need Gala to kind of be the the final bit that can maybe carry this. I mean, he has five kills. There they go. Lock up, knock down, carry, holding onto the ulti as long as possible. T1 not taking that as an opportunity to re-engage. Zeus over the wall, laying down a bit of damage, but leaping right back out. I think RNG are trying to get the Tom Kenshi eat so that Chao, who's set you on, you can land onto Gumyushi as the next follow-up, but they Locking hit Faker. Up, hitting Faker, now trying to take Faker out of the fight entirely. Soraka healing already coming down. Carrier leaping out of the Infernal Chains, double stuns. Zeus oh, going no! in! It is massive! T1, blood in the water, they're ready to pursue, they're ready to end this game. T1, hungry for more. One last kill, a few more to follow. And it is not with a bang but a whimper that RNG will exit Worlds as they are slaughtered in their own bases. T1 look to bring it home. They are not satisfied with old rivalries and fourth seeds. They want number one. They want a shot at the best in the LPL. They want a semi-final, and they will get it as they face JDG in Atlanta as they break RNG and cross the finish line in the quarterfinals.